There may not be a quieter, more low-key player in the Yankees minor league system than Ben Gamble. The Neptune Beach, Florida native fits the profile of a laid-back surfer to a T. But once he laces up his cleats and picks up a bat, his game is as loud as anyone's. Gamble tattooing that ball. Home run, Ben Gamble. And hustling in, and a diving catch by Ben Gamble. He's the best hitter in the screen right now. I don't think it's even been close. He's <laughs> just exploded on the scene, man. It's fun to watch. Siempre te he can game. run, he can play defense, he can hit, and you know what you want to get every day out of it. To be honest, he's really flown under the radar. Uh, I don't think he's a guy you appreciate his full ability unless you play with him every day. In 2015, Ben Gamble has outperformed his higher profile peers in AAA Scranton Wilkes-Barre. Surrounded by big names, the 23-year-old has exploded onto the scene this season, filling up just about every statistical category with career highs. One of the catalysts for his development was a tweak in his stance in the spring. Now we made some minor adjustments this offseason and uh, everything's kind of been clicking for me. I got rid of my stride and I went to a leg kick and uh, just gave me gave me room, got my body out of the way and let my hands work. It was actually pretty natural. It was everything felt good, so I just kind of rolled with it. The first thing that stands out when you compare Gamble's numbers this year to those of his past is the massive leap in power. His slugging percentage is his highest since short season A ball in 2011 and his triples total is bearing down on the International League record. At 5'11 and 185 pounds, he's not your prototypical power hitting outfielder. But with over 45 extra base hits under his belt this season, he's changing that perception. He's getting older, so he's juicing balls a little bit better. Um, he's getting stronger, and um, that's why I think he's got a lot more triples, and, and um, he's, he's been really impacting the baseball a lot better this year. And this field's huge, so. Pretty much if you hit a gap, you can pretty much run for days. So. Gamble's offensive performance has put the lefty on the map this season, but the outfielder points to the other side of his game as the area where he's taken the biggest step forward. I think my throwing actually defensively has been my biggest improvement this year. I haven't missed many cuts and my hops are getting better for the infielders. You know, he's, he's taking some good routes, good first step. He's going and getting some balls. Uh, he's made a lot of great plays going back, you know, jumping into the wall, crashing into the wall. Um, but he falls down, he gets right back up, and he's ready for the next one. You won't find Gamble's name on any top prospect list, and his name doesn't pop out in the lineup among players like Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez, and Rob Refsnyder. But he's hit over 280 in every month except one this season, and he has remained a steady bat on a team that's seen a lot of turnover this year. As the season continues to wind down, he'll continue to keep the same demeanor and approach that has kept his name in the highlight reels all year. Honestly, I just, I'd like to stay consistent. Stay as consistent as I've been this year and I think I'll be all right. He's done a great job. He's been, he's been the catalyst of our team at the top of the lineup. Um, he keep doing that and I always tell him, people are always watching, man. Just continue to have good at-bats and um, people will see you and then whatever happens, happens. <laughs>